Come to Dragon's Re- Hmm? What? Project? You think you could help me? I really don't think so. What? I never even cast it. Ah, I see. You have some knowledge of the higher art. Please forgive my earlier rudeness. I am so often interrupted by visitors wandering in, I can occasionally become quite savage. Now, what did you say you wanted? Ah, indeed? The Jarl. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Ah, no mere brute mercenary but a thinker. Perhaps even a scholar? You see, when the stories of dragons began to circulate, many dismissed them as mere fantasies, rumors, impossibilities. One sure mark of a fool is to dismiss anything that falls outside his experience as being impossible. But I began to search for information about dragons. Where had they gone all those years ago? And where were they coming from? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone, said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Ah, the dragon stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. You already found it. You are cut from a different cloth than the usual brutes they are foists on me. That is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind, sadly undervalued in Skyrim. Farangar. Farangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon. How exciting! Where was it seen? Or what was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. Let's go. Not now! So... Irileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. Oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the Watchtower? No, my lord. Just circling up. Then when I left, I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would come often. For sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Here, Leth. You better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, Accept this gift from my personal armory. You should come along. I would very much like to see this dragon. No. I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irileth. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution.
I envy you the chance to see this dragon up close. Hit by a dragon. One of those horrors comes here. We'll be ready. Leave me alone. We've got nothing to talk about. Got your back. Ah, Isolde, was it? What brings you to the market? I'm here to buy food, I suppose you don't need to worry about that. Holding a farm does have its own. You're not supposed to be in here. Take a good look around, I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Everything! Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Do come back.
Klaus. We will be back. This is not over. Hmm? A woman, a foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She is likely not using her. We are not welcome here in Whiteron. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. It's none of your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, feel free to walk away. We will find her eventually.
I can't believe it. You are. In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the dragonborn stayed dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. According to the old legends, only the dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. Just as out I advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. That was shouting. What you just did? Watchtower. 
Was the dragon there? I knew I could count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. Dragonborn? What do you know about the Dragonborn? So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thoom or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. The Greybeards. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was the Talos of Anmora. Rungar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, Dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant! These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avenich. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once, did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place, very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city. Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal house carl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. I serve Jarl Balgrun as steward. Of course, it's all in this note. The Jarl is, as you can imagine, the Jarl has put out a bounty on some bandits. Here, take a look at this decree for details. Visit to Dragon's Room. has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor. The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the Hold. A hero. The title of Thane is an honor. A gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. As my Thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own.
my life. Looks like you've already got someone with you. I'm right behind you. I'll head back home if you need me. Long, lead the way. Mercenary work? My sapphire doesn't like that I've been spending so much time on the father's old sword. He fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy room. I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby, but I'm no fool. I'd need the white run guards or maybe hire the companions to get it. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful to you. Dragon's Reach and look for bird's eggs. But I don't do that stuff anymore. My father keeps catching me and then I get in trouble. In mighty R.K., God of life and death? Well, as I said, R.K. is the God of life and death. You'll find his temples and halls of the dead all across Tamriel. Priests of R.K., such as myself, perform rites for the dead and sometimes console the bereaved. We also keep a constant vigil against those who practice the vile arts of necromancy. I asked the question because I was hoping you might be able to help me recover something I've lost. My amulet of R.K. It's the source of my divine powers and also a sacred badge of office. I misplaced it in the catacombs. I'd look for it, but I have been hearing noises down there. I fear the dead have become restless. Without that amulet, I'm powerless to confront them. Would you be willing to search for it? I'll just wait here and make sure nothing foul escapes the catacombs. Blessing of Arcane. Fancy robes. You a wizard or something? I 
just want to go home and read. conquers any harsh beast. Huh. If you want to try, go right ahead. I don't think anything will get through that thick skull of his, though. You've got no idea. Half the men in Whiterun have proposed to me. Some were even single. They'll never understand. No amount of flowers or honeyed words are going to change my mind. Right now, all that matters is my daughter Mila. No man's going to get between me and my little girl. Farewell. then. I can teach you a thing or two. As long as you clean up. You know how to use it, right? Mix a couple of ingredients together and see what happens. A little wheat and blister wart makes a healing potion, if you didn't know. We have plenty of ingredients for sale, too. Come back anytime if we need a remedy. All I can think about is my son, my Thorold. They say that he was killed, but I know better. I know my son is alive. Those battle-born, they're in with the Imperials. They know it too, and yet they lie to my very face. It's not wise to discuss it here. Please, if you truly wish to help, meet me at my home. I'll tell you the whole story. You'll find tonics? Labs, poultices, and potions on my shelves. Browse to your heart's content. Hmm. Come on in. Just 
stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. What do you need? If it's work you need, how about shopping up some wood? I assume you saw the Gildergreen? Big tree all burnt up in the middle of the wind district? It's part of the Temple of Kinareth. People want Tanika to do something about it, but I don't know what they expect. Have you seen that shrine of Asura? They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. Of course, it's all in this note. People say there is someone in Riften that can change your face. Make you look completely different. Do you believe that? Of course. It's all in this note. I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm ready. Of course. It's all in this note. What can I get you? The companions? In your basket? They're recruiting new members from what I hear. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Hungry, tired, or just plain thirsty? Magic is for the weak. Elves, I mean. They keep to that college in Winterhold. They know their place. Of course, there is Farengar. He might be the Jarl's wizard, but at least he's an old. Need anything else? Just let me know.